Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. My name is Sam Smith and today we are going to be revisiting the forest that started it all, Root. Now in Root we have talked about a lot of different things. We have talked about the Marquis in full control of the forest. We have talked about the decrees of the Eerie. We have discussed the very rebellions of mice and foxes and rabbits. We have talked about the Lone Wanderer, the Vagabond, the tradesmen over at the river that trade animals for, for services. We have talked about the religion of the lizards, but we have not talked about the moles that live beneath the feet of all of these creatures. Why do they build citadels? Why do they build markets? We're not going to be exploring those questions today, but we are going to be exploring the strategy of this amazing faction. And so tune in as I go through tips and strategies on how to play the Underground Duchy better. Now the Underground Duchy is kind of like a slow burning faction. They're not a very fast faction to play. They're one that you're going to want to take your time with almost like a warm cup of tea. Don't rush it, it'll burn you. That was good, that was good. So the first tip I have for you guys is to turtle in about two or three clearings. Now you're just gonna wanna bunch up about three or four moles in about two to three clearings and keep a couple of your buildings safe. The moles do a lot better once you've got a couple buildings out and protected because you do not want to lose them. It will hurt really bad. As my second tip, I like to try to aim for the two slot clearings. If a Vagabond is in play, try to gain good relationship with him and attempt to take over clearings that have a ruins token on them. You want to make sure that you can put as many buildings in a single clearing as possible as the moles because you're going to want to be able to protect them easily and make sure that you don't have to spread yourself too thin in order to do so. As the moles, you're going to be struggling mostly with the fact that you only have two actions during your bird song. So one strategy that I like to do is I like to craft cards that give me more movement. So when we're talking about good cards, in the base deck I like to use the bunnies. In specific, I like to use the command warren, which at the start of daylight you can initiate a battle, and the cobbler, which at the start of evening you may take a move. These two cards are going to be very helpful to get some extra actions as you are very limited with the moles. And with the new Exile and Partisans deck, it really does add a lot of new options and strategies to play with, and two cards that I would recommend crafting here would be the Eerie and Majuri. At the end of Birdsong, you can take a move and then initiate a battle in the clearing that you moved into. If you did not take both actions, discard this card. You're going to be wanting to be able to take both of those actions as the mole, so it's going to be pretty easy to maintain. And then secondly, the Bunny card Charm Offensive. At the start of evening, you may draw a card and and choose another player to score one point. Card draw is going to be very important as the moles as most of their actions require you to reveal or to spend cards in order to do powerful plays. And then as my other tip, it would be to start at the beginning on citadels, try to make sure that you can get a lot of warriors piled up, then use dig actions to get in key locations, and then you're going to want to transition into markets. Once you have a lot of warriors already on the board protecting those buildings, you're going to be safe and then it will make it a lot easier to sway ministers without the fear of actually losing them. So just to clarify, start with citadels at the very beginning, then transition to markets, and then kind of fill in whatever you need at the moment after that. Now, once you have protected yourself and you have a couple of clearings that are fully protected, I like to take this time to look for small raids. You have a very, very amazing ability in order to be able to dig and appear up on the board anywhere you want by spending a card. Very, very good ability. And so one thing I like to do is I like to look over the entire landscape and see are there any small clearings that I can pop up at and take out and gain a point or two. Remember, your moles can actually go back through the tunnel and go back into the burrow if they need to retreat. This is going to be a very handy tip to get around, get some extra points, and then get back to safety. 
Look around for Marquise Wood stockpiles as well as their weak spots in their buildings. Look for eerie roosts that are left unprotected, Alliance's sympathy tokens, Otter's trade posts, or even the Lizard Gardens, as well as the conspiracy's plots. But be careful about those, you don't want to fall into a trap. Now something to keep in mind with the moles is that you cannot win the game by just swaying ministers. I mean, you can, but it would take a while. And so one thing to keep in mind is that you need to be looking for crafting opportunities. All the crafting cards, you're going to want to think heavily before discarding those or spending those. You're going to want to try to use those as much as you can and then craft them for points in order to get those extra points needed to win. As well as that is one of the reasons why you're going to be wanting to dig and look for stray tokens and buildings because you're going to be needing those points as well to get that extra amount to win. With that being said, while you're crafting items, look out for the card, the League of Adventurous Mice. This allows you to, once in daylight, you can exhaust an item in your crafted items box to take a move or initiate a battle. This can give you a lot of helpful options throughout your gameplay. Getting an extra move or an extra battle can really make that difference on what you can do on your turn as the Duchy. And I know I've said it a lot, but when playing the duchy, it is so important to get extra actions on your turn. And so what I like to do is I like to get all of the squires first as my ministers. This includes the marshal, the captain, and the formal. Just these three cards, you're going to be able to take a move, initiate a battle, as well as reveal any type of card to place a building in any clearing that you rule. This is going to be a really, really good addition to the two actions that you get on your turn. And then from there, you can start working towards those nobles and lords. Another way to get a ton of actions really quickly as the moles is to get the noble and the brigadier. If you use the brigadier's ability, which allows you to take up to two moves or initiate up to two battles, and then you can use the mare to duplicate that ability. This is also going to be really, really handy because you can use the mare to duplicate the ability of any of your lords for scoring a ton of points towards the end of the game. Also, as the moles, with your dig action, you are going to be a contender for dominance victory. So just keep an eye out. Maybe it might be a way that you can win the game. I'm definitely never going to tell you, you know, just go straight for a dominance victory. But once in a while, if you find yourself in a very, very strong position, you can oftentimes use those extra actions to get into an even better position with the moles with how much mobility they have and military strength. So just to kind of sum it up a little bit, I like to build a couple buildings and protect two to three clearings with two buildings in each. And then you're going to want to make sure to just try to do small raids to get those extra points, craft all those cards. You're gonna to wanna to start with the cheaper ministers and then move your way up to some of the more expensive ones. Always make use of the mayor's ability to duplicate the really powerful actions like the brigadier and also the end game scoring lords. And I'm sure that you will win more games as the great underground duchy. Thank you so much for watching this video. It has been so fun to talk about Root again, and I am so excited to bring all of the stuff that I have planned for you guys. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment down below saying that you want more, as well as drop a like and click the bell notification to be notified when the next video is released. Go ahead and check out the links down below for my Twitter and my Instagram. If you follow those, you're gonna be able to find out what I'm going to be covering next. But I think that's it for the moles. Let's go ahead and drop the beat.